Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is so good. Come on, y'all. It's an open heaven. God is so good. Come on. God is so good. He's so good to me. Praise the Lord, y'all. God just says that there is an open heaven that this is the presence of the Lord. If you need protection, if you need prosperity, if you need healing, if you need faithfulness, commitment, come on somebody, if you need hearing, if you need comprehension, if you just need to decrease, God has said, this is a place. This is the presence. Come on somebody. God is just going to rapture us. He's just going to place us in his arms and God just says that he's sending the prosperity. Come on somebody. He's sending the fish that you're going to release the net and you're going to receive a great harvest in the name of Jesus Christ. God says, throw your nets out in the name of Jesus Christ because you're about to receive a big catch in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. There is a big fish that is about to be released. Come on, somebody. There's a big prosperity that is about to be released in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a refuge, a hedge of protection that's about to be released in the name of Jesus Christ. God says that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. The enemy may come one way, but he'll flee seven other ways. Come on, somebody. The strong man may come back looking for a house to rest at, but he will not rest at your home in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. A thousand may be at your right hand and 10,000 at your left hand, but you shall not be moved in the name of Jesus Christ. God says to walk by faith and not by fear in the name of Jesus Christ. God says that you are his beloved. He's causing trouble. He's causing criminal activity. He's calling the evilness and he's calling the wickedness. Come on, somebody. It's going to work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not be tired. You shall not be slothful. Come on, somebody. You shall not be lazy. You shall do your work. You shall study. You shall meditate on the word day and night. You shall not be distracted. Come on, somebody. By the familiar voices that want to channel in on your ear. Come on, somebody. You are not a child. Come on, somebody. You are not incompetent. You are not disabled. Come on, somebody. Somebody trying to put a stronghold on you. But God says, already cast out that, that spirit. Already cast it out. Already healed you. Already made you whole. Come on, somebody. But the enemy is trying to replay things that is not accurate. But God says, I am the God of accuracy. I am the accuracy of accuracies. And God says, I am going to give you spiritual vindication. Come on, somebody. You done told the enemy to stop. You done told the enemy to repent. You done told the enemy to get it right. Come on. But they keep doing the same thing over and over. And the only person that can help them is the Lord. The only person that can help them is God. So God says, give them to the altar of the Lord. Release them. Come on, somebody. God says, don't be vexed anymore. Come on, somebody. Don't be vexed by the diviner. Come on, somebody. Because God says that he is the divinity of divinity. In the name of Jesus Christ. God says, release it. God is giving you his behavior. He's giving you his cognitive thinking. Come on, somebody. He's giving his voice in your voice box. Come on, somebody. He's giving you a song in your spirit, your mind, your diaphragm. In the name of Jesus Christ. God says, I am a good God in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. God says, I cast down the closure. I cast down the barrier. I cast down the delay. I cast down the injury in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast down hallelujah come on god says i cast down a pandemic in the name of jesus christ come on somebody god is casting down the infection he's casting down the infirmities in the name of jesus christ god says there's power in his name call on the name of jesus and you shall be set free call on the name of jesus and you shall be healed and whole call on the name of jesus and you shall be delivered come on somebody from the lust of the eyes the lust of the flesh and the pride of life come on somebody god says he's placing his whole armor of protection over you as he did for David, as he did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, as he did for Esther. Come on, somebody. He's doing it for you. God says that you're going to think thoughts that are lovely, thoughts that are kind, thoughts that are of a good report, thoughts of wealth. Come on, somebody. Thoughts of intelligence, thoughts of understanding. You're going to think the right answer. You're going to select the right answer. You're going to pass the test. God says that he's doing it for you right now. You're going to think multi-million dollar thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ. God says that he's going to release you into a realm of wealth that you shall impart into your children. That your children children should have a great inheritance. You should have a legacy. Come on, somebody. Your barns. Come on, somebody. Your fields. You should have a, a will and a will, God says. He's releasing the vine yards. He's releasing the oil. He's releasing the fruit because you prayed to him. Come on. You exalted him. You worshiped to him. Come on, somebody. You said, God, I want your beauty and not mine. Come on, somebody. God, I want your words and not mine. I want your praise and not mine. Come on, somebody. You've been praying, God, connect my heart to your heart. Connect my eyes to your seven eyes. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Connect my ears to your ears, God. Connect my emotions to your emotions. Come on, somebody. 
Come on, somebody. God says you have asked. You have been seeking God. Come on, somebody. You have not opened the door to everybody who knock. God says that you have great discernment. You know right from wrong. You know the voice of God, and you and you cast down the voice of the enemy. You cast down the voice of the stranger. And for that, God says he's going to bless you 100-fold in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. You ain't opening every door. Come on. You may knock, but that don't mean I'm going to answer. Come on, somebody. Come on. God says you are chosen. You are the elect in the name of Jesus Christ. God says he's calling you to be a doctor. He's calling you to be a physician. Come on, somebody. He's calling you to be a nurse practitioner. He's calling you to be an astronaut. He's calling you to be a great inventor. Come on, somebody. He's calling you to be a scientist. He's calling you to be a professional athlete. Come on, somebody. He's calling you in the name of Jesus Christ. God says he has a good future for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I've been praying. Y'all been praying. God bless the patients with a good future. God bless those who are in the hospital with a good future in the name of Jesus Christ. God, they shall live and they shall not die. Every diagnosis, God can change it. Every every sickness God can heal it come on somebody yes we are giving them medication administration come on but we put God first we say God you go before the medication God you go before the treatment amen because if God speaks if God heals they shall never need medication another day in their life come on somebody always seeing God before you before you give medication before you give insulin come on somebody before you check a uh, accu check come on somebody God says that he's healing the fingers in the name of Jesus Christ come on somebody somebody being pricked in their fingers come on they've been pricked in their fingers three to four times a day in order to get blood to check their glucose level God says he's healing those fingers he can feel it in the name of Jesus Christ he can feel the pain he can feel the hardness. Come on, somebody. God says he's sending his healing. He's sending his inventors in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. God is sending inventors. He's creating inventors to create strategic methods in healthcare that can help the patients to live a longer life, to decrease in their pain. Come on, somebody. To be treated and not have to go through so much pain. Come on, somebody. God is a God of creation. He is a God of thoughts. He is a God of strategy. He is a God of research. Come on, somebody. God is the greatest researcher in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, God. So we just thank you, God, right now, God, that you know exactly what we need at this exact moment, God. You know the treatment that we need, God. You know the word that we need, God. You know the touch that we need, God. And we just thank you in advance, God, for releasing it in the name of Jesus Christ, God. Release it, God, right now, God. We just ask you to place life on our tongue, God Almighty. We ask, God Almighty, that you will put a guard of protection over our mouth, God. That we should only speak what the Lord says speak. Come on, somebody. That we should only hear what the Lord says here if God says don't hear their voice do not hear their voice come on somebody God says that he is giving you his vision he's giving you his hearing come on somebody he's giving you his words in the name of Jesus Christ God says that you're going to be a light in gross darkness you're going to be a light in the health field God is going to connect you to be a bridge come on somebody I've been praying God connect health care with the healing of the Lord God connect God with science. Come on, somebody. God, connect God with inventions. Come on, somebody. God, connect God with research. Why? Because if God in it, all things are possible in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. If you put God in it, all things are possible in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. I don't know about y'all, but I want to see more patients saved. Come on, somebody. I want to cast down medication a, uh, a medication errors in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. You will give the right dose. You will seek the right patient. Come on, somebody. You will give the right frequency. You will give it at the right time. Come on, somebody. You will give the right amount. You will give it in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not have the nine rights of uh, medication administration shall be on your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall not be, come on, somebody, a health professional of error, but a health professional of great healing, great prosperity. Come on, somebody. God called you to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God says that he's sealing his hidden. He's sealing. He's sealing it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. God is going to send his anointing and his healing to those patients who are laid down in the bed and they got bed sores. Come on, somebody. On their bony promises. Oh, my God. On their tailbone. Come on, somebody. On their heel. On their elbow. Come on, somebody. Stage one. Stage two. Stage three. Stage four. Unstageable bed sores. Injuries. Come on, somebody. Laying down in a bed too long. They done got an injury. But God says he's sending his angels now receives them. 
from the north, south, east, and west. God is sending his angels. Come on, somebody. They're going to come and they're going to touch that pain. They're going to come and they're going to touch that wound. They're going to come. They're going to speak a word. Come on, somebody. And that wound is going to close up. Come on, somebody. No longer shall we spend $26.8 million on treating pressure ulcers when we serve a God who can heal the pressure ulcers. We serve a God who can heal the injury. We serve a God who can heal the wound. We serve a God who can heal the scar. Come on, somebody. We serve a God. Come on, somebody. Who can reduce the cost. Who can save lives in the name of Jesus Christ. God is sending angels from the north, south, east, and the west in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not die because you got a pressure ulcer, because you got a bed sore, because you got a wound. God's going to bind up infection. Come on, somebody. He's going to allow that wound to be killed. He's going to allow that epidermis and that dermis and that subcutaneous tissue. He's going to allow it to come together. You shall not be in, or you shall not have sepsis, a bacteria that is traveled all over your body. God says he's casting it down in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. By faith, God is even going to heal you without antibiotics. You're not going to need no penicillin. You're not going to need no cephalosporin. Come on, somebody. You're not going to need no, no uh, narcotic, no opioid. Come on, somebody. Because God says, I'm sending my healing. Come on, somebody. And it's going to be quick. It's going to be It's going to be rapid in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. God is healing those with diabetes on today. He's healing those who got carotid and kidney failure. Those who lay in the bed and got a foley. Come on, in their, in, their, in their private areas. God is making sure there ain't no bacteria in it. Come on, somebody. He's making sure that they're receiving the right amount of fluids so they can produce the right amount of milliliters per hour to have sufficient uh, flow so they can actually get the foley catheter removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is sending his healing right now. Call on the name of Jesus Christ. He'll remove that pain. Before you before you contact the doctor, the nurse, or the health professional for a pain pill, God says, call on me. Call on me, says the Lord. I'll take your pain away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. He'll manage that pain. He'll remove that pain. You won't have that pain in your shoulder. Come on, somebody. You won't have that pain. Come on, in your back, in your head. Come on, in your foot, in your leg. God says, I'm a healer. Call on me before you call for a pain medication in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God is a healer, y'all. God is a healer. God is in the... God is in... Come on, somebody. The parentship to heal us. He's a father who heals. He's a father who gives. He's a father who teaches. He's a father who anoints us, God. He's a father who leads us. He directs us. He blesses us with his spiritual compass. He blesses us with his spiritual binoculars. He blesses us with his spiritual prosperity. He blesses us with his spiritual fields. He blesses us with his spiritual vineyards. Come on, somebody. God is a gardener. Come on, somebody. God says, I gently remove those tears. I gently remove those things that need to come out of you. Come on. And God is so good. He said, I do it when you're when 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 you when you won't even know that God is doing it. Because he does it so gentle. He does it with eloquence. He does it with manners. Come on, somebody. God just says you heal. Come on, somebody. And like that you heal. Because that's the Father that we serve in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God said there's somebody right now that they're dealing with a hardness in their ear. It's like there's like a deaf, like a like you can't hear, like D-E-A-F. Like there's such a pressure in your ear that you really can't hear clearly. There's a lot of people talking. There's a lot of languages being spoken. Come on, somebody. There's a lot of people speaking a lot of dialects. Come on, somebody. There's a lot of languages going on right now. There's a lot of linguistics going on right now. Come on. But God says you shall not be distracted. You shall have peace. Come on, somebody. God says he's allowing that barrier, that anger, that confusion, that unknowing to be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. God says you shall be around people that may speak different languages and it shall not bother you. You shall not be vexed. Come on, somebody. You shall not be distracted in the name of Jesus Christ. If they talking about you, come on, somebody. God says that he will be in the, he, God is going to be there. Come on, somebody. God is going to be there. That every word that is not like God, he'll take care of it. But some people, they speak in another language and they don't got no problem with you. Come on, somebody. They speaking. They speaking. Let them speak. You talk to God. 
while they having a conversation you have a conversation with the lord come on somebody they may be speaking out loud but you speaking in your mind to the lord come on somebody god said don't allow that language barrier to frustrate you don't allow that language barrier to feel like you are deaf like you're you're, you're incompetent come on somebody why because there's people who travel to the united states of america come on from different countries right they don't know the language right come on somebody there's people from the united states who travel all around the world we not we may not know the language come on but god says i don't gave you a book i don't gave you a spirit i don't gave you a mind i don't gave you understanding pick up a book learn the language come on somebody ask the lord god i don't know this language i don't know what they're saying god but i want to travel god you're sending me god almighty to feed those who are poor you're sending me god to give water to those who are thirsty you're sending me god to cast out the diseases the infirmities you're sending me god to build homes come on you're sending me god to restore those places that have been destroyed by natural disaster spiritual disaster and god when i go to these places jesus christ i need to know what i'm supposed to say i need to know how to communicate with these people so god says i'm going to teach you i'm going to remove that barrier in the name of jesus christ i'm going to teach you how to communicate with every race with every ethnicity come on somebody with every culture come on because that's the God that I serve in the name of Jesus Christ he will teach you those things so that you shall not perish he shall teach you those things so you won't have a barrier preventing you from getting to your success he will teach you those things so you won't have a delay in the name of Jesus Christ he will teach you those things because he is a God who wants to accelerate you in the name of Jesus Christ he is a God who wants you to be able to save the people he is a God who wants you to cast down the principalities the powers the rulers of darkness in high places and release the glory of the Lord he is a God who wants you in the name of Jesus Christ to speak the word come on somebody and heal those who have had diseases for over years constant bleeding for over years mechanical failure come on somebody poverty come on somebody bills come on somebody God said he's going to release a word in the name of Jesus Christ and you shall be healed every debt shall be paid in the name of Jesus Christ come on somebody you shall not have any insufficiencies come on somebody any incompetence anymore God is healing Come on, somebody. God is prospering. He's changing. He's transforming you. Come on, somebody. God said he's doing the work from the inside out. You shall no longer be the same. When people see you, they're going to see the goodness of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because that's the kind of God I serve. He's blessing us. He's burning up that fear of attacks. Come on, somebody. He said, speak my word with free course in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, may we not be, come on, persecuted, afflicted, hated. Come on, somebody. Killed, destroyed, damaged. Come on, somebody. For telling the people the goodness of the Lord. God, you called us to heal the sick. You called us, God, to save those, God, who need your light, God. You called us, God Almighty. You called us, come on, in the name of Jesus Christ, to cross over and to possess the land as Joshua. To rest in the land, to heal those who got issues of blood, to heal the daughters and the sons who are dying, to heal those who are caught up in rebellion and disobedience. Come on, you called us, God. You called us out of the world into your glory, into your kingdom, God, into your righteousness, into your peace, into your cleaning, into your organization, God. You called us, God. My God, you know the plans that you have for us. They are good, says the Lord, and not of evil. Hallelujah. God wants to build us. Come on. A land. Come on, somebody. A field. Come on, somebody. A vineyard with his hands. God says, I'm going to put my hands on your hands so that when you build, that you will not destroy or are damaged or break what I have given you to build. Come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, I just thank you this morning for going before me, God. God, I ask you to enlarge my intelligence, my understanding, God. Oh, God, I repent for all of my sins that I have committed, God, known and unknowingly, God. Allow me to enter into your sanctuary, God, into your church, God, and receive the love of the Lord, the peace of God, the joy, the kindness of God. Oh, God, bind up jealousy, strife, evilness. Come on, somebody. Uh, divination. Come on, somebody. God, allow us to have unity and peace. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, God. I thank you for the word that's going to go forth today, God. May it touch God Almighty the patience. May it touch the church, God. May it touch those who are who are uh, who are uh, uh, shut in, God. May it touch those who are needed to know, God. Do do I give my life to the Lord today? Uh, God, is this the day? God, allow them to receive the Holy Spirit and say yes. This is the day that you give your life to the Lord. This is the day that you repent of your sins. This is the day that you receive the Lord as your Savior, as your Abba, as your Jehovah Jireh, your Jehovah Nisi. This is the day in the name of Jesus Christ that you shall speak in a language that you never spoke before. This is the day in the name of Jesus Christ will where you shall receive miracles, signs, and wonders. This is the day, God says, that you shall be able to focus. Come on, somebody. You shall be able to have great attention. Come on, somebody. God's going to show you great things in the spirit, and they're going to be good. Oh, God, I thank you for sending your anointing before me as I enter into the rock of Melbourne, God. Send your anointing, God, into this driveway, God. I thank you I have peace in this land, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, allow your lamp, God Almighty, to be a light to my feet, God. Allow your light, God, to be a blessing to my path, God. Oh, God, bless Pastor Webb. God, bless First Lady Webb, God. Thank you, God, for giving them strength, endurance, and patience, God, and giving me your fruit, Jesus Christ. Oh, God Almighty, I thank you, God, that as we come together, God, may we speak in different languages, God. May it be a mighty movement, God. Thank you, God, for constant revival, constant healing. Come on, somebody. Constant prosperity. Come on, somebody. Constant righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for allowing me to communicate with you on today to Jesus Christ. Oh, God, I thank you that today the people will not see me, but they'll see you, God Almighty. Oh, God, I thank you right now, God, for your hedge of protection, your love, and your peace, and your kindness. This is the day the Lord has made. Come on, somebody. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, guys. So God is so good. He's so great, y'all. I'm about to go hear the word of the Lord, and I'll come back and let you guys know what God has spoken. Hallelujah. Just get ready to receive in the name of Jesus Christ. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Hallelujah. And I always pray, God, may the anointing that is on God's life, Jesus' life, the Holy Spirit life, be on y'all life, not the anointing that I have on my life. Come on, somebody, because I want y'all to have greater, hallelujah, than what I have. But the anointing that's on God's life, Jesus' life, and the Holy Spirit life, may you guys receive it today in the name of Jesus. God loves you. See you soon.